So when I heard that Jeff Woodward wants us to do the play, I said, I hope he doesn't think Winston and I are still able to do it because we're both over 70. <laughs> and they said, no, we heard that you could do a production of it. So now I got the young people together. And one of them happens to be my son. And I gave them the script to read. And I said, what's the play about? My son had studied it because he's got a, a bachelor's degree in honors in performance and creative writing. He said, it's a play about identity. It's a great South African classic with two great parts. I nearly strangled them. This is blood, sweat and tears. This is revolution. So slowly in the process, we began to just take things and open them up. The difficulty for me is to make them understand about the struggle of the 70s, why we wrote the play. They, if you say to the children, I never used to be allowed to eat in this restaurant, they would say, it's, it sells bad food anyway. What did you want to eat? Yes, yes. that's not the point. <laughs> I want to be able to be allowed to do that. Some young people seem to assume that South Africa began in, in 1990 on the 11th of February, when Nelson Mandela was released. So politics begin then. In 1994, we became a democracy. Mandela became the first black president. Now it's 2014, we're celebrating 20 years in democracy. So anything from before, why Mandela was arrested, and during Mandela's arrest, and during our time in the arts, there was a gap there. They couldn't fill in this play attempted in a very nice small way to bridge that gap to give them a sense of we moved from there to here to where we are